All right, yes, I'm a journalist. Thank you, thank you. Um, as you see, you know, so that's what my story is going to be about tonight. Um, because I'm a journalist, I'm going to tell you all a story and hopefully it will entertain you. It won't be um, like a news burst, it will just be a genuine story. Um, once upon a time, on another planet, there were a bunch of happy journalists writing happy stories which were printed in happy newspapers. Um, and everybody was just happy together, um, enjoying their lives together. Um, and then, ba -ba, the internet, this powerful force, came along and turned all the journalists' lives upside down. They didn't know what to do. It was causing all this chaos, this dark force in their lives. What would they do? Um, and this internet caused all sorts of problems for journalists. Um, the first problem being it pirated their copy. Um, all of a sudden, all the articles from the newspapers, all the articles from the TV shows, they were all being pirated. And what was a, what was a journalist to do? So, you know, the end of the world had come, journalism as we know, as we know it was failing. Uh, so, and what was happening, it wasn't just, being, wasn't, just, wasn't just people pirating our articles, it was social media. Social media destroying the models for journalism. Twitter, why well, would you need to check out Sydney's dust storm on Sydney Morning Herald when you can turn on Twitter as I did that morning and um, find out what's happening and f find um, pictures of zombies with Twitter. So basically what happened was all the journalists got really sad and died and went away and stopped becoming, stopped being journalists, as you can see. It's a very sad story. Um, but there's um, happier stuff to come, so don't be too depressed. Because they're back! Zombie journalists arising from the grave. Um, the internet's here, but the journalists are back. We're, we're not going to die off just because social media told us to. Um, we're going to survive. And when we came back from um, our grave, who should we find? Oh, no, sorry, wrong slide. Um, when we came back from our grave, we realised the internet can't solve all our problems. They said, um, you're going to have to learn all this new stuff. You're going to have to learn lots and lots of new things to survive in this new world and be, um, be zombie journalists, um, just like Yoda. Um, but I don't think we quite know how to use the force yet, but that might be coming. Um, so the first thing we had to learn was advertising. Um, models are changing for publications, so it's no longer you can sell your copy in, in dead trees or attach it to um, you know, TV shows. Um, you have to really get involved with advertising. It's, I believe, the only, the only model. It's a somewhat flawed model, but it's all we've got to work with. Journalists also have to learn how to share. You know, we've got to link to each other's stories. We've got to discuss other people's stories. We've got to share with people on Twitter, and we've got to realise that it's one big pool of content. It's not just about um, being a, um, a journalist on your standalone newspaper and writing for yourself. It's a big community, and we've got to get out there. Uh, speaking of that community, instant feedback. Journalists have to learn about instant feedback. We have to learn to talk to the community on the web and, and know what's happening with them and interact with them. They're real people. They're not scary. We've got to talk to them all the time. Um, so, some people less than others. Uh, and we've also got to learn to stop writing stories about how blogging is going to kill journalism, because it's not. Um, bloggers are journalists, journalists are, journalists are bloggers. It's one big happy family of content creators producing information which everybody wants. But not all journalists like this. Some journalists think it is um, bad and they go grouchy. And who can blame them, you know? They've been closeted in this newspaper world for the last 50 years, writing one column a week. It's a depressing situation when you've got to write stories every day on the internet and talk to people on 4chan. Um, some of them got so grouchy that they went back to the old model and they decided, well, even though everything on the internet is free, we're going to start charging for it. And I just don't think that's going to work. Sorry, Rupert Murdoch. Um, so that was another problem that people faced. Uh, but. Hope. There are some journalists who love this. Maverick journalists who decide, I'm going to spend my whole day on Twitter talking to people. I'm going to get on the street at places like Ignite and talk to people. And the best thing is, we're the coolest journalists. We're zombies and we also watch Fear and Loaming in Las Vegas. Um, so the moral to this story is, anything can be improved by adding a zombie. <laughs> um, anything, any film, any TV show, even journalism can be improved by adding a zombie, as I'm sure we all know. Um, I'm sure there's many zombie fans out here in the audience. Um, me being one of them. And um, so <laughs> that's my website, by the way. So basically what we're saying is um, journalism is pretty good, um, but zombie journalists are some of the best journalists of all time. And you should follow the zombie journalists, not the ones who are still alive, because we're much cooler. Um, and, this, and this is just another picture of zombies, and we're going to conquer everything. So uh, thank you very much. And please respect your zombie journalists. <laughs>